Well, thank you very much, Jiang. I'm sure you're having an exciting time in Cannes. Whereas we, well, we prefer to bask in the sultry summer of this beautiful land called India. Greetings, folks. In the next few minutes, I'm going to take you through a fascinating journey of a transition. A transition that India is going through. And the important role that uh, this mobile phone is playing in making this transition happen. You see, the mobile phone has been adopted across all sections of our society. Let's see a few facts. With about 400 million users, India is the second largest mobile phone market. Yet, it's the fastest growing, adding 15 million users every month. But most importantly, it is instrumental in changing India at the core. Imagine, an ancient culture that has till now only adapted itself to outside influence is now changing from within. But who is leading the change? Well, just like anywhere else in the world, the youth are the harbingers of change. It's the young Indians who are challenging the traditional way of life. Now let's explore the change facet by facet. Some of you may know that India happens to be the world's largest democracy. What you may not know is that it is inherently a hierarchical society, which is an antithesis of democracy itself. It's a society that has been built over the ages on the premise of inequality. In fact, for centuries in India, your social status and your future was determined by the family you've been born into, by your surname. It was almost impossible to break out of the social class barrier. But that, my friends, is changing. The mobile phone has broken through the hierarchical structure of Indian society. It has become the big leveler. As you can see, the mobile number has become the primary source of identity, thus equating one and all. Moreover, uh, it allows people to cut through layers of hierarchy and connect with each other on even keel. Let's see how. Mobile phones have made super bosses more accessible. Just to call away. I'm an electrician. I was the first person in the shop. Now I have a mobile phone. So the customer calls me directly and calls me directly. When Abraham Lincoln coined the slogan of democracy, of the people, by the people, for the people, well, he probably did not think of India. Here, people voted to get a government and then abdicated all power to it. The people were powerless and at the mercy of those who they voted into power. But today, the mobile phone has made the people in power far more accountable. Young people have no qualms in taking up a particular issue and rallying around it. And the SMS has emerged as the main source of communication. I got an SMS saying that there was a march for justice against Jessica Lal's murderers and I went for it with a few like-minded friends. I believe that I convinced at least 50 people to take part in the march against communal violence through my phone. Equality, power to the people, that's great. But what about the vast majority of Indians who are poor? The average annual income in India is below $900. Well, in such a scenario, it's not easy for people to buy and use mobile phones. Yet, amazingly, we find that the growth rates of mobile phones adoption are the highest in the lowest strata of the society. Obviously, these people realize the power of the mobile phone to access opportunities, but it's still difficult to understand how they can manage to pay for it. Have you ever heard of the missed call syndrome? It is a disease that is majorly found in our country, India. People have mastered the art of communicating through missed calls. A missed call can have different prearranged meanings. When I talk to my boss, I take a missed call and call me. I'm going to live in Delhi. I work in Bombay. I take a missed call every day. I understand my mother that I'm going to be safe. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. The mobile phone is liberating the urban youth. But what about the 90% youth who live in small towns and villages? Huge distances and poor communication facilities have made it tough for them to access opportunities that the bigger cities have to offer. 
However, with a mobile phone, opportunities are easier to access. By crashing distances and lowering insecurities, the mobile is helping the small town guy chase their destiny. Well, it's not surprising that many a seasons of reality television shows in India, including singing and dancing, have gone by, and each season has thrown up a winner who wasn't necessarily the best performer, but the person who could attract more votes through the mobile SMS. Just hear what these youngsters have to say. I'm sure I have a good chance to win as I'll get a huge support from the people of my state. I voted for Sarvi furiously as she represents us and her win is our win. Ah, I like the sound of it. But that's still just a small part of the story. Would you believe it? Till a few years ago, women were confined within the four walls of the home. There were a couple of reasons for it. Firstly, a woman's primary role was to manage the home. Is that why they call women better managers? Anyway, and secondly, given the social environment, women were expected to be home before it was dark. This inhibited their professional aspirations and growth. Well, let me tell you, you cannot imagine what the mobile phone has done for the cause of women liberation. It not only gives them a huge sense of security, but also helps them multitask so that they can manage their different roles and personas with ease. I think this is more powerful than a can of pepper spray. I can manage my house from my workplace because I've got the remote control. The mobile phone has unshackled the youth in India. It has broken down boundaries between the haves and the have-nots, opened doors for the not-so-privileged, fueled ambitions across the board, destroyed inhibitions, bridged gender inequality and inspired collective social activism. Truly, the mobile phone has kick-started a social liberation in a traditionally hierarchy-led society. So if you want to feel the heat, it's the right time to visit the summer of India. That is all that I had to say and I have to hand it back to Jehang and I have the right way of doing it too. Hey Jehang, did you get my missed call? 